hey hello everyone welcome back to the another new tutorial and today in this tutorial i'm going to show you one tool demo uh, which is made by one of my friend shubham sony he's a very talented artist and he recently he created one tool and the tool called the p card snap this is very very interesting and it's uh, save a lot of times when you want to place a card in 3d space for example uh, we have this render and by the way this render and the final output part of my recent deep compositing course so this is just a raw render and this is the final output so you can see from this to this we are going uh, in that course check out the course trailer to get to know more about this course let's jump into the uh, tool demo i have this render and as the name said this is the p snap card so p means it's required position pass and it's also require a camera and this render is coming from the blender so there is some issue with the blender he fixed it in that tool he give you the uh, flexibility to uh, manipulate the position pass based on your render so you can get a proper card placement in 3d space let's see uh, where we can download and how we can install this tool there is a link i will provide you in the the video description so this is the his uh, website page so you can come here and there are a uh, few tabs here if you go to the tools uh, you can see all these tools and individually you can see the tools here so now we are seeing the p card snap it's very straightforward uh, this is the quick uh, demo he made to show you how to use this tool and we will walk through all these uh, tabs here as you can see he uh, demonstrate uh, very uh, very nicely how to place a card and uh, you know all these elements based on the position path and the camera if you go to the bottom you can download from here and uh, there is an instruction how to you know properly install it's very straightforward just download and the link is from the nukepedia it's very easy so once you uh, download it and install it in nuke uh, make sure uh, you have a position pass so in this case i have this uh, blender render and i have this position pass then i also have this uh, match move camera then you can just search like p card snap and get this let's go back to 2d space let's delete this one uh, first thing you notice this uh, card color is blue because it's also support deep so we'll see how we can use deep here so first thing we need to connect the cg render let's connect this to this and we need to connect the camera let's connect the camera and we also need to add a texture obviously we want to add some kind of you know texture here so in this case i have this fog layer so i want to add this fog layer uh, around somewhere here let's connect texture to this one and let's view this so once you view it, it looks like a black. So make sure you open the properties panel like this and you can see the BG comes back. There is a dedicated button for the BG. I will show you uh, when to use this one for now. So this is the main menu panel and in the viewer you can see we have this position selector here. So what we can do, we can just move this. Oh, and you can see this is another very really good feature. So once you move, it will tell you uh, please select the correct position layer because here you can see the position layer is not selected. So we need to uh, select the uh, position world. So it's required to select the world position, not the object one. We have this, so I will go here and select my position pass. So now I'm going to select this uh, position selector and let's move. And you can see the values are changing here. It's, it's adding this 2D and this 3D value. So these 3D values, it's like our position pass value, X, Y, and Z. I can't see anything. Uh, as I said, this is a blender render and the blender uh, position path is little tricky. It's a different because of the axis is uh, switch in blender. To solve that, uh, you have to go to this extra menu and here you can see modify position AOV. So, and there is a dedicated checkbox for blender, fix blender position path. Just, you need to just enable it. And by default is inverting the Z. So this is exactly what you want. You want to invert the Z. Once you do that, you will see the screen is getting black again. So go, go back to the main menu and then you can press this show BG. So this is just uh, refreshing this uh, tool to uh, show you the BG. Now if I just click somewhere, you still not gonna see, you need to uh, move this and release your uh, left mouse button. Once I did, you can see this big thing because the uniform scale is 100. So let's keep it uh, maybe one. So this uniform scale is based on your scene scale okay based on this render so in this case this is this is not a very big scale scene i will show you the another example where we have very big very large scale scene and in that this 100 is looks very small now let's view this again and let's show bg okay let's move now it is moving and it is placing the card based on the position path and if i move it far away you can see the card is getting smaller and smaller if i move closer it is getting bigger and bigger slowly 
so this is very very good and once i close the panel then i don't see bg i have full alpha from this so let's if i add a just a key here to get the alpha so now i have this and then what i can do i can just merge this with this so now i can merge this one and this is very very a uh, quick way to add this and let's play and see so if i play let's go back and now you can see it is properly uh place it on that exact position to show you better let me just remove this uh, alpha so now it's properly tracking that place i think if i place it more closer then you can see the properly how it is working again and let's place it here maybe very close and let's decrease the scale because it's too big so i want to place it in this corner okay now let's hit play and now you can see it's very very easy and very very fast way to you know place your card in 3d space and with this just a uh, uh, 2d pointer with the position path and the camera and you're good to go and as i said is support deep uh, do the deep merge and just connect this one it is connecting this is the script guys for that uh, course so, I, so i'm not gonna go here i'll just go here and show you the deep so i have deep slab comp here so i will use that to merge so let's move this here and if i connect this with this let's see and go back to the first frame now uh, this is now with the deep now we have a deep here just we need to see where we need to play see it is placing there so we can just move it like this and i can offset this so i can move the card little above and that's it so because this is coming from the scanner render so we are getting a proper deep data like this uh, it's using the scanner render to output the card so because the scanner render support deep that's why we are getting the deep output from it and it's very very useful because now i can just open this panel and i can move this card where i want and now you can clearly see how useful this is so you can place the card properly in the depth using the position pass and you can merge with the deep layer and this is pretty good uh, very 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 easy way to you know place the card in 3d space so now let's see the few parameters and then we will see the the non blender render version let's view this okay and let's open the properties panel so first thing you can see the card is rotated it's not facing to the camera there are a lot of things uh, in this one there are uh, very very good options here so first uh, in the in this uh, main menu uh, we had we have to select the position pass and show bg as i show you and the show card wireframe of this so the wireframe is off you, now you can just have this pointer and you can place it but i recommend uh, keep this turn on because it's a visualizer so you can see the card where we are placing and how the card is rotated and these are the you know transformation for the, this thing you, know, you can scale and you can you can do you know it's a basic transformation okay now let's see the extra tab so the extra tab is uh, having this uh, look at function as we saw the modify aoe for the blender so this have this extra option called the frame hold on a sample frame uh, this is very very useful so if i just turn off this so that means the card is always going to look at to the camera so let's go to the 3d space and now we see the card is here okay and when we play the card is facing to the camera always so if i just turn on this frame hold that means it is not gonna face to the camera okay maybe in this frame we are i want so the idea is how to use this frame hold option is uh, we have to go to the 2d space and uh, frame hold on a sample frame that means you have to sample in this frame like this and now it is uh, using that frame as a reference frame so frame 67 if i go inside the tool uh, now you can see the frame is frame 67 so if i go here and if i do this now the frame is still frame 67 because i need to come here and need to just change this one a little bit then if you see here the frame is 89 so that's how you can that's how this uh, this frame hold on a sample frame is work and it's, it's pretty good if you just want uh, this thing to face always to the camera you can just turn off and you can see it is always facing to the camera but uh, sometimes it is useful but most of the time i think we need to turn on this so that's why by default it is turned on so by default this is and let's go to the card menu so this is like a new card so we have all these uh, card properties and this is a scanner render basic scanner render setting nothing crazy 
only these two menus are very useful that's how we can uh, place this in 3d space using the deep and using the position path in the camera and you can merge with the deep or you can merge with the normal merge node and you can then composite this how you want now let's see the non uh, blender render version how uh, this thing is works and uh, it's very very simple in that case because for the blender we need to do some you know some more clicks here in the uh, in the properties panel but for the normal one uh, in this shot this is the dune shot make sure to go and watch this tutorial also so this is the whole script for that so here i did the same thing i have this deep and i'm just copying the position path into this final output so i can have the p and this render is coming from the maya we are using the arnold render let's see how it will work so i have this render camera also so let's use the uh, card snap tool and let's connect the camera to camera this to this let's view this and for the texture for now i'm just adding the checkerboard to just to show you the how it will work and let's place like this let's double click open the properties panel and if if the bg is not coming you can just uh, now click this button to force the tool to show you the bg now same thing we have to do the position if i just move again we get this uh, uh, pop-up error to tell you to select the correct position layer let's go here and select p now let's move now you can see we still have a scale of 100 but because this scene is very very big the 100 scale is not that big compared to the blender one you can easily place the card anywhere in the scene and in some reason if you want this pointer to be here so you can just move this and offset like this for example in this case maybe four and now you can place the card from the bottom like this this is the very very easy way to place the card in 3d space so this is what i want to show you in this tool demo uh, it's very simple make sure to go to the link in the video description so you can download this tool and use it and uh, share your thoughts share your you know experience with it and i hope you like this uh, tool demo and uh, thank you for watching we will see you in our next one have a great day